Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing, my favorite people in the world? Second to my wife only. Hope you're doing great, great, great. Today is a very different type of video, but before we start it off, please check out the description box for all the nice links. Join the Discord, drop a like, subscribe, check out all the links, all that stuff. And this video is for you who want to hear me talk about my general update of life about my job how it's going about all that stuff just running on talking maybe there's some programming tips in there who knows but if you want to go code go check out my coding tutorials shut this video off go check that out instead if you want to eat go and eat bring some food eat with me I don't know why I have an eating video in the background, but I just want to make you hungry, okay? This is some good stuff. I'll get to that in a second. Whatever you want to do, go do that, because this won't be as important as learning to code. But if you want to stay here with me, you are welcome. And if you want to go take a crapper, go do that. But then I can just take your phone with you and you can hear me talk. Maybe that's too much. I don't know. Sorry about that. Anyway. Let's go. Okay, so let me just introduce this beautiful food here. I think it deserves an introduction. This is falafel, my favorite food from my favorite joint. Yeah, oh man, it's so good. Just looking at that makes me... Mm -mm. That looks so good. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Look at that sauce. Basically, it's fried chickpea balls with some onions, some green stuff in it, some lots of garlic straight up garlic balls you can just call them garlic balls because so much garlic is so tasty you put that in some pita bread with a lot of sauce look at that look at how much sauce i'm putting there mm -mm -mm. and you put some fries on there too oh man why am i making this video god damn i'm getting hungry anyway let's just get to the juicy stuff okay my job now i've been working for about a month and that is at this beautiful company with these amazing colleagues, amazing boss. Everyone cares for me, you know, just, to, just take care of you, basically. Make sure that you're feeling great and everything's all right. So I'm really, really enjoying my time. Just a few things is that I'm driving every day one hour. So, you know, I get a lot of, I just get really tired once I get home. So I have to wake up at four in order to have a life. So I don't get home at like seven because I have to drive two hours every day, right? two hours total so I make sure I wake up at four so I'm at the job at six about so I can come home around three and four ish and then I can have my life I can do my YouTube I can do all that stuff so it's not all about the job right but the job itself is going great like I said it's been a little more than a month uh, I have people who are mentoring me helping me learn now the thing is I'm green out of university right I've just been doing YouTube I've been doing my personal projects you guys know what I've been doing I'm not the most experienced by far like at all I know my APIs I know a few things I know how to learn coding I could learn a new language new APIs quite easily but I don't know a lot of them I might not know a lot of these tips and tricks that you guys know and all these Linux programmers out there man you guys are so experienced shout out to all of you I know you're listening if you still are listening, <laughs> hopefully, big shout out to you guys. And Shadow, you as well. If you're here, you're listening to this video, you are, even though you give me a lot of credit, you're more experienced than me. You're doing a lot more things than me, everything like that. I just stick to my stuff. I try to teach the basics. That's how I do. Anyway, coming out of university like this, straight up green, coming into a company that has a very established system that they're using which is quite old but still very very efficient but it's still built on an old framework i can't give you details but i'm just saying they have a system that is that is nice but you have to learn it all the customizations everything you have to learn it and there's so much there's so so much to learn and i've done a lot more than i expected to do they, i did a lot more than they expected me to do because i was so into learning the system so i have been able to learn it and i'm learning actively i got like a year they said to learn and then I have to kind of, you know, start getting, you know, get going. But I've already started. I still, I already did a few things. Now we use agile development, you know, uh, Scrum, um, all these things, right? So you have tickets, you have all these things going. 
and you gotta you get tasks assigned and you gotta fix your tasks you gotta fix the problem basically you need help you can ask for help they're gonna help you out but there's a lot of things you gotta do on your own and they won't always hold your hand that's also good right you gotta throw yourself in there you gotta read the documentation for stuff you gotta go in deep dig deep into this software you don't have to do that stuff regularly right you don't have to read documentation in that sense so coming into this job having to do all that stuff has been such an eye-opener it's not at all what I expected from a job, from, from a software developing job. Now, I can't speak for all jobs out there. There's a lot of jobs probably where you can just go in, customize how, the way you want. It's open source. You can do all this crazy stuff. Modern APIs, modern, modern this, modern that. C Sharp and all that. But here, it's not like that. And a lot of jobs might have these old systems where they need people uh, to kind of uh, teach them how to do it and you know this whatever i can't go into detail like i said but anyway so if you if you want a, a another type of this type of software job you got to be ready for that you got to be ready to learn their system you can't just go in and do your thing you got to learn their system their way of handling things everything they have done and you kind of get used to working in their way you still retain your own programming style but you still got to use their their type of thing and hopefully like you can use all this you have learned in school and all the good habits and you can incorporate that into their style because sometimes i notice some people code very quickly they don't comment a lot maybe you can at least give them that right you try to show them that you have a nice coding style but you still got to do it their way right so that's been an eye opener for me i'm still scared still nervous i'm not the most social person either so having to deal with colleagues 24 7 is kind of almost 24 7 is kind of scary but still i'm getting used to it i like everyone they're really friendly and I can talk to just about anyone. Some days I'm more nervous than others, but you know, whatever. That's how I am. Surprise, guys. Surprise, I'm an introvert. What am I going to do? What to do, right? What to do. But that's life. You got to get used to stuff. Throw yourself out there. Get into challenges. Do a bunch of stuff. Just do it. Okay? Just do it. So that's how I, that's my attitude. And it's been going well. And other than that, YouTube is still going. I'm expanding as you're seeing. I know this video isn't a coding tutorial. Don't be afraid. I'm still going to do those regularly, just like I am doing. I'm going to add more series into programming. Lots of cool stuff. C Sharp. All that stuff. I know I've been saying it, but I have all these ideas in my head. And we're going to start doing those as soon as I get this, this schedule set in my brain. And the wifey is cool. We're going to we're gonna be doing a lot more videos together. So be ready for that. And yeah, pretty much like, I mean, just trying to expand and, and branch out. So I know a lot of you guys are hardcore programmers. Okay. I know you do tutorials. I know you just love all the programming content. You don't have to watch these videos. I promise I won't be. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. You watch whatever you watch. That's what I'm trying to say. You don't have to, you know, be an avid super fan. You know, just go watch what you want to watch. Anyway, there are going to be those videos. Uh, they're not going to go anywhere, basically. We're going to do a lot of cool stuff. We're going to do them all together. We're going to go through books. We're going to we're going to do this cool coding styles, things other people haven't done and uh, different types of tutorials that you're probably going to love. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Learn a bunch of languages together, all that stuff. And I'll keep giving you updates if you do want those. Uh, I think it's good to know how it is in the industry. So just be prepared for that. Other than that, it's all good. It's all good. Hopefully you guys and girls are learning and everything is going well for you. Just, just make sure if you have comments, if you have suggestions, write them to me here in the comment section. I know I don't answer every comment, but I will try. I'm going to make videos on comments as well just to show you guys. Also on your personal projects. If you do have personal projects, go ahead and send some video demos to me and I'll check them out. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Just take care. Keep working hard, guys. Thanks for watching all this stuff. Subscribe, drop a like, check out the description box. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, alright? Bye-bye.